Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. So I was at Michael's and I saw these pastel neon paints. Now I'm super curious because I have a feeling they're going to not be as, I guess, discernible or distinguishable under the black light, but it does say on the bottle on the back that they are black light reactive. So I wanted to do an experiment, see if they look really cool or if they just kind of look like what white looks like under a black light, which is basically that purpley color. All of my paints will be listed in the description down below if you're interested. And my thought for this is to do a paint pour under regular lights and then turn the black light on to see how it looks. So I'm thinking I might do black on the background and then do kind of a ribbon pour with the colors over top of the black um, and just kind of see how that looks. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this looks super cool as it is, um, but let's go ahead and turn off the regular lights and turn on the black lights. Okay, so it actually looks really cool. They definitely look a little bit more pastel too. Um, it's kind of hard to show on the camera. I'm going to see if I can get it to refocus a little bit. Let's see. That's probably pretty close to accurate. It's kind of difficult to show, but you can definitely tell the differences in the colors, which is super cool. And the blue is, of course, not really showing very much. I've noticed that blue and purple, even in their full neon colors, just don't do as well as like the greens and yellows. I'm sure there's a scientific reason behind that. I just don't know it. <laughs> so anyway, this looks super neat. And I'm guessing it'll probably look pretty cool when it's dry as well. Um, the colors will get a little bit more intense because when they're mixed with Floetrol, they're dulled down a little bit, but the Floetrol dries clear. So whatever color it is, is a little bit more intense than what it looks like when it's wet. 
I think I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then I will try to do a close up in the dark under black light and then also in the regular light. Okay, it has been a few minutes and I'm gonna try to do this without blocking the light, but it's a little tricky because I have it in just kind of a regular lamp. Okay, we'll come down here. Got kind of that peachy orangey and the pink. And I'm noticing some of these little flecks. I almost wonder if the paint wasn't mixed up quite enough. I'm not sure. You can kind of see them better in here. They're mostly in the blue and green. And then over here, all these cool little designs where they cross over each other. It kind of looks like weird clouds. Okay, I'm gonna turn all the lights back on and then we will do a close up with regular lights. And here we are. So definitely the colors aren't as bright. It actually looks kind of like sherbet or people around me also say sherbert, but that's not how it's spelled. How do you say it? Let me know in the comments down below, I'm curious. Let's look over here. So we just have a tiny, whoops, we just have a tiny bit of that. I think that was the blue maybe going across or maybe that was the stick pulling a color across. And then over here you have a bunch of the colors kind of intersecting. And it is having trouble focusing because the black and the very light colors kind of confuse it. Down here is really cool with some little lines coming through. Over here, more orange and pink and some blue and green down here. Looking really cool. I wasn't going for cells. We got a few little tiny ones just from, I think probably air bubbles popping, but overall it looks really cool. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you like these pastel neons or do you like regular original neons better? I think for me, I kind of like the original neons, but this is a really fun change of pace. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and shared it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.